The living failures are the collected victims of the research hall of the Healing Church. They are attempts to create what would eventually become the Celestial Emissary, but being failures, they're discarded and dumped in the Luminwood Garden, feeding the flowers there as compost. Here, they wander around aimlessly, but ironically, they still display greater cosmic connection and powers than any of the church servants in the research hall ever will. As a design, they are huge, hulking things with collapsed bulbous heads, which makes them physically almost the exact opposite of the skinny, slender Celestial Emissary with its giant dome of a cranium. And the imagery of swollen Stolen heads and headlessness is a constant theme in Bloodborne and a recurring theme in FromSoft games in general. There is a symbolic push and pull between the blood-filled body and the seeing mind, and the living failures are considered failures because they are stuck between those two extremes, unable to transcend. They don't live up to the platonic ideal of godlike enlightenment that the church imagines, and thus they are discarded like trash. Never mind that the people who threw them out also, by definition, do not live up to those ideals. The healing church is not bothered by hypocrisy. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.